Wanyaku, also called the Mukogodo, are a people living in the Mukogodo forest west of Mount Kenya, a division of Laikipia County. They moved into Kenya from southern Ethiopia and speak the Yakunti language, which alongside six other Kenyan languages have been classified as extinct by UNESCO. In fact, there are currently only five people left who can fluently speak Yakunti. The Yaku people are formerly hunter-gatherers and beekeepers who traded with the Maasai and eventually got assimilated into the Maasai pastoralist culture, almost completely giving up their language for the Ma language as a result. Buffalo, Sogome, Elephant, Lepe, Lepe, Vitua Mingi, Lepe. Hey, the voting Gani? Oh, on a footer. So Lepe, Moja, Lepe, Moja Ningi. You need donkey. Yeah, that's a donkey. Locating the right vein to draw blood from is a delicate procedure, and thankfully, we have just the right man for the job. Bang on. Oops, oops, it's Nimingi. Drinking of raw blood is a common practice among many pastoralist communities. One that I will gladly sit out. <laughs> and if, just like me, you thought that the young boys were only here to watch, think again. <laughs> I just think that blood would give me nausea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even the sound of it. Can you hear that sound? Yeah. No. No way, Yeah. Oh my God. Take yeah. me there. And he walks off happy and refreshed as I try to master the courage to take a sip. I don't think I'm brave enough to do that. Mm -hmm. So this is the blood. Yeah. You can see it's already starting to cold. It's starting to clot. Yeah. It smells like goat. Can I see? Yeah, I do it. Yeah. I did look at it again in the finger. Oh! It tastes like goat. My honest take on the blood at the beginning, there was no taste. Then when you started swallowing it, it tasted like goat milk. Like all blood, <laughs> it gives you a bit of a nausea, nauseating turn in your stomach. But then it was gone and I was fine and I could say, I've done it. <laughs> We're gonna make a happy. Ay, 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 ay. We will deserve a 1950. Mimi. Yeah. That's like a bandit. 1950 is a money. That's a money, son. There you we know. Go. I wonder what we're going to do with all this blood. Yero? Yeah. You know? Hey, I'm a shiba. Who's oh, a shiba? Uh, Raw blood was traditionally drunk among many pastoralist communities as a way of supplementing the diet in times of hunger and drought. Okay. Okay. I wonder what this clotted blood tastes like. Should I? No. No! Don't even think about it. <laughs> but this young boy is a strong believer in sharing is caring. Okay, I'll, I'll try. And I go for a huge bite. Not. Liver. That's the river. As the people in my papers, that's the river. <laughs> this young lad right here scoops the award for the bravest nine-year-old I have ever met thus far. Mm -hmm. Time now to go harvest our unique dessert, bee larvae. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be funny! <laughs> if you can look into the trees, you can see the mzinga. As Mze makes the ascent, I'm challenged and scared at the same time. Hey. This is scary stuff, man. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Like. That aside, nostalgia brings back some painful memories, which I hope won't be recurring today. Today, I hope I'm not gonna get stung in the mouth. <laughs> the bees are waking. I can hear them. So, it's my time to step back, guys. 
And by the way, the bees come for the light, eh? Tuzime. Tuzime. Azima. Okay, Zima, Zima. Yeah, so we're in the dark, eh? Oh. Our repellent doesn't seem to be working. These bees are determined to protect the larvae. Yeah. 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 And as if his bravery is not admirable enough, Mzee still finds it within himself to crack a joke. This guy has got big sticks all over I really feel sorry for him. Right? <laughs> now that's what we call... Where's the Gonja? Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. This was an epic fail. <laughs> and he bore the brunt of it. He's a brave man. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He's a great guy. Gotcha!